In today's vlog, I somehow got to see the northern lights Wow, 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 wow! And do dog sledding in the middle of nowhere in Canada So here's the story It all started when I wanted to see the northern lights in Yukon with my friend Johnny We took a cab to a place called Fish Lake in the middle of nowhere we stood for 30 minutes, nothing happened. And then, okay, boom. Green lights, they're coming. As a control freak, I tend to plan every moment. Chasing the northern lights taught me to be spontaneous. No matter how much I will plan, those green lights can show up and surprise us. It taught me just keep going and things will turn out right. Happy and delighted, we found a crowded bar and apparently people live in Yukon. <laughs> Then we did more fun stuff and winter activities like going to hot springs. Hell yeah, I froze, but one picture is worth a thousand words. Afterwards, we saw these guys. Now, let me introduce you to the husky paradise. Best alarm clock in the world. Who needs more than that? I found an isolated cabin on the internet and didn't know what to expect. This place is so isolated that they don't have regular electricity. If they want electricity, they have solar panels here. Manuela moved to Yukon long time ago from Germany. I'm his alpha. Nice. Oh boy, that's a boy. She manages cabin, cooks amazing food and raises those huskies and do dog sledding with tourists during the winter. Makeup? What's that? <laughs> I don't think I would have this lifestyle if I would care about makeup. Like living, living off grid. Like like just being away from everything and like kind of like the lifestyle of a farmer. But I was almost more tomboy. I never really was a girl girl. I don't even have a mirror in my cabin. Really? Yeah. I don't even get up in the morning and look in the mirror and brush my hair and everything. I get up, I brush my hair, put a hair tie in. I don't know what I look like, but. I don't really care, and the good thing is the dogs don't care what I look like. I never was a city person. I grew up in a small village in Germany. And why you decided to immigrate to Canada? I, I didn't really decide to immigrate at the time. I had a one-year work and travel visa, and I wanted to explore Canada. And once I was here, I just decided I'm going to stay. Why? Because of the dogs. How many dogs do you have here? 114 right now. How do you remember their names? Their family. I'm just like asking you how you remember the names of your friends. No. They're all Alaskan Huskies. Good boy. So Homer here. Homer came to us from, from the shelter. He was only 11 months old when he came here. He's not a typical sled dog, but, but he loves to work. He's 10 now. He's semi-retired. He still gets to go when he feels like. No, nice. Nice. Oh, everybody's coming back. We have guest rooms in the lodge where people get to stay and they get to hang out with the dogs, all the retired dogs. I got 114 babies all together. They're all, all different ages. We got about 60 working dogs right now, so almost half of our kennel is retired. So we, we take care of all our dogs from, from birth until the day they die. So dog sledding, it's, like it used to be the only method really people could travel here in the winter time. Even till today, some roads are not open in the winter. You can only travel them by dog team or snowmobile. A hundred years ago, there was no snowmobile, so everybody that lived out on the land had a dog team. Number one rule of dog sledding is never let go. So you want to try to stay with your team whenever you can. When we stop, you don't want to step off your sled and be like, oh, I'll take a picture, it looks pretty over there. Your dog's going to be gone. Yep, this is exactly what happened to me. You need direction. So you got the dog on the front, your leaders, they hold the line out tight. Easy, stay tight. And when I yell G, they go to the right. When I yell Ha, they go to the left but you need to train your dogs to do that. The dogs love to run and they are born to run because they love to do it. And anybody that's ever been on a dog sled, they know the dogs love to run. What, what really matters is how do you take care of them outside of the running? 
they super strong and you know the sleds glide easy what is the extremist uh, whether you had you have your like, minus 40. the extremist i experienced was minus 56. the dogs they stay outside at minus 40 if they're young and healthy they got good coat they got lots of straw in their houses they are outside at minus 40. They're not like us people. They grow a winter coat. They can't just take their coat off. So if you bring them inside at minus 40, it's it's more cruel to them because they have a really heavy winter coat. And now suddenly they're inside where it's plus 20. So they're actually sweating and overheating. I know what you want. So it doesn't mean you always get them. Don't you think you're having that? Like, I'm done with nice mom. You gotta give me the tree. Or oh, nice is over. Hi. What? What? I, I mean, I always love dogs, but they just, they just special. They just, I really, I really like to live with them. I, I like the unconditional love. They just, they're just amazing to be around. I, I prefer dogs to be people, to be honest. I understand dogs much better than I understand people. Can you give a tip for people who do Northern Lights hunting? So I always recommend to people if they come to the Yukon, yes, Northern Lights is something that's possible to see. And it's, you know, if that's something you always wanted to see, it's great, but plan an activity around it. Don't just focus on the Northern Lights because you set yourself up for the disappointment. If you see them, great. But if not, you come here, you got the dogs. I can, can guarantee you dogs, I guarantee you awesome food, I guarantee you great company, but I cannot guarantee you the Northern Lights. But if you have all those other things, the Northern Lights are just a bonus, right? And if you don't have it, you just come back and try another time, right?